Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 in what I suspect will be the finale for this LP. We are armed to the gills for the end game. And I also, in my downtime, did a lot of reorganizing because I'm just like that. Everything has to be neat and tidy. And yeah, somehow I think six grenades and all the flashbangs and having all four weapons on us could be excessive but at this point what else are we using the inventory space for unless the lab is going to keep going for a while uh, a little while oh you oh you gunpowder you You go right here. Unless we find another high grade one. We can mix some more magnum bullets. Oh, this is a neat room. I'm definitely getting jumped on this bridge. Hmm. What about down here? Yeah, that's a whole uh that's a whole arena down there. Mm. Oh, maybe on the way back, because that's going to open up. Fuck, these are some Alienware rooms. And uh, these are just tubes full of Resident Evil bosses. And G Embryo is in play on this subject. Incision. Subject consciousness level deteriorated. Subject was disposed of. Subject 501. G virus administered 501. Mutated in G form. Oh. T virus resistance. Oh, they administered the G virus to subjects who showed T virus resistance. And it was really effective. Huh. It was just on a table. That was easy. All right. Now back to Ada. What did that trigger? Attention. Oh. Just left it out on a fucking table. Attention. Oh, there's a typewriter. Hey, that's going to be, what, four or five more Magnum bullets? This is really going to do a number on my beautiful organization job, unfortunately. Oh, wait, 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 maybe not. No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's fine. This is not, but... We're going to have to deal with the anguish of uh, having to put that there. And one more save for good measure, because I am getting jumped on that bridge. And we're even setting up for the escape sequence, the Resident Evil staple escape sequence. Okay, Mr. X, where you at? Oh no, it's Birkin again. this thing William why it shouldn't have been like this it's umbrella's fault this whole mess your umbrella too you're telling me you weren't involved in this yes 
But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. So you made this monster. We made the G-Virus, but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, his final form design looks really, really cool. Also, I'm cornered right off the bat. Fuck. Holy shit, that hurt. Was I already in... In caution? Holy shit. Okay, so there's stuff here. Are these just supplies? Because I'm looking around for a gimmick. No, that's flamethrower fuel. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Fuck! Well, now that I have the blue buff, that's not that bad. Shit. Uh, it's starting to look like there's nothing around the room to hit. Like there's no gimmick, it's just fight him. Now do fight good. Oh, okay. So when he goes to grab one of the explosives, I can shoot him to make it drop it. To make him drop it. Oh, God. This room is really a, just a lot of choke points and dead ends. Come ah. Expose the eye. Fuck yes. Ah. Uh, God damn it. Good. Shit, his design is awesome. Seems like we're on to phase two. Whoa! He's a lot more agile than I would have ever expected. Oh, damn it. I messed up. Oh, I could have gotten a lot of free shots in. Oh! Come on, show me that spot. Go! I thought I might have a split second to hit that before he threw the whole column at me. Oh no. Well, I'm taking a beating. Good lord! The range and speed on him is something that I never would have anticipated. Oh god. Yeah, this is a real ass fight. Holy shit.
target has been neutralized. There is no well, there's still Mr. X lurking around, so yeah, I'm for sure not done. Yeah. I mean, these could have just been littered around for the Birkin fight. But also, there's definitely more coming up. Shit, I took way more of an ass whooping than I uh, expected I would. Ooh. Still have a few leftover Magnum bullets, though. Plus everything else. Oops. Thinking there's a round two coming up. He is... He's taking more of a looking than that. Already. It's a lot of handgun bullets. Guess as soon as I take that elevator up, uh, it's time for that self-destruct uh, sequence to start. We start that escape sequence. There's still plenty of fine, though. Ah, uh, I don't want the extra 25 bullets. Handgun bullets, anyway. I have a feeling I'm fine. Worse. Believe me. Talk about what you said. I don't know how much I believe. Just tell me you'll destroy that G sample. No, it's evidence. It's going to the FBI. <laughs> you trust that bitch. What's that supposed to mean? She's not FBI. She's a mercenary. She's gonna sell it. G-Virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, that's bullshit. I hope you're right. But if the G-Virus gets into the wrong hands... Self-destruct sequence initiated. Use the center elevator to evacuate immediately to the bottom of the I was just thinking about you. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. I gotta ask you something. The way's clear. Please, tell me you got it. Oh, I got it. Let me verify the G sample when we get the hell out of here. Before we do that, I ran into Annette. She claims you're not FBI. Oh, Leon. Why couldn't you just hand over the sample? As I realized. As much as I wanted to trust you, I didn't. I really hoped it wouldn't end up like this. So that's all this was? I was just some pawn to you? Look, I'm just doing my job. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun! I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. I 
you shoot me? But I don't think you can. yourself, Leon. No! I can't believe Ada Wong is dead forever and will never come back in almost every future game. <laughs> and so begins a long history of betrayal, but also saving me sometimes. This is not good. I don't think you should put a long loading elevator uh, at the beginning of your escape sequence countdown. It sucks a little bit of the oxygen out of the room, a little bit of the tension out of the escape. Like the timers are always super generous, but you especially know that's going to be the case here. What's that? Place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Hey, Leon, you're breaking up. Forget about me. Just get out of here. Damn it. Oh my god, this track is going. This is the best song in the game. Holy shit. What a sudden bop. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hello. Oh, shit. Ivies. I just sandwiched myself between two of them. Hopefully I can get him down. Oh, good. I didn't even have to use the knife for that. Come on. Or the others catch up. This is why they gave me flamethrower fuel. I was worried it might have been for Birkin, and I was just doing that wrong. Eight minutes until detonation. 
destination. Still no Mr. X, huh? Like, we're gonna fight him during this escape, but... Hey! <laughs> there he is. Speak of the devil and he will give it to you. Stalking me through this whole escape. Huh. You know, I really can't believe Mr. X doesn't factor into this more heavily. Especially after that whole half of the RPD. I kind of expected him to have a more prominent role throughout the game. Though, I mean, to be fair. This really is Birkin's story. Maybe it is more of a role in Claire's uh, uh, campaign. Yeah, here we go. I'm not wasting time looking for gimmicks this time. <sighs> Still got a lot of range. We're just gonna go in as hard as possible. Jesus, if I can get a chance to throw a grenade even. Ugh. This is a surprisingly tight space. That flame trail effect. Oh, it's so good! As is the music in this whole endgame bit. Yeah. Mm. Holy shit! I was way off on that. Come on. I still have, yeah, I still have seven bullets. Good. Oh. I mean, I'll be okay. Damn. We'll call it even. Where did this thing come from? I can't believe she didn't die. So here's our Resident Evil 2 uh, final boss, Rocket Launcher. And it was just one shot, okay. I am suspicious of that. You have arrived at the bottom. Okay, so here comes Burke in part two. I would guess. You know what? Let's say I'm wrong. 
god, that feels good. Now Burke in part two. Shit. Gotta get out of here. miss her. I can't believe that's the credit roll. I mean, to be fair, there still is uh, Claire B, which, yeah, that's going to be where Birkin Part 4 happens, I would guess. And also, I know who that child is, that's Sherry, but in the context of this playthrough, who is that child and, Le and why is Leon not just like... Yo, who's that child, though? <laughs> Damn, that's that's a real good game. We have uh, we have Claire B to play though, and I'm thinking about doing that on stream. Uh, so, Ooh. really, again, really surprised Mr. X didn't factor more heavily into that. Hmm. I loved this game though. Uh, the design of the whole RPD, even the sewers and how it connects back to the RPD is sublime. Uh, and yeah, now I'm, I'm seeing why it's, why Resident Evil 2 is regarded as such a classic. It, it, there's a real good reason for it. Uh, I think the treatment of this remake was superb. And between Monster Hunter World, Mega Man 11, Resident Evil 7... Devil May Cry 5, now this. Capcom has been doing an incredible job of, of regaining their their Cap God reputation. Even Street Fighter 5, uh, like near the start of the generation, was really fucked at launch. Uh, and they stuck with it, though, and made it great. And Marvel Infinite, which there were problems with it. And by all accounts, most of those problems were caused by Marvel's side of things. Uh, for what it's worth, though, Marble Infinite was fucking great, too. Ah, oh, what a good experience this was. If I had to give a few minor points of criticism, uh, like I said, I feel like Mr. X didn't factor into this heavily enough. He really just shows up for a little bit and then is absent for the rest of the game until the final fight. Uh, the lab wasn't nearly as good as the first or even second thirds of the game. And the boarding up the windows mechanic is an ingenious way to do the whole Crimson Head thing without just doing Crimson Heads again. Uh, but it feels a little bit half-baked since it's localized entirely to the RPD, which is only a third of the game. Again, though, overall, I, I just love this so much. Had a great time with the, with uh, the remake of RE2. So I guess I will see you all on stream for uh, Claire B. Like I said, I don't think it will diverge enough to warrant a full LP of Claire B. But I'll definitely do that on stream and post uh, the highlights and all the new stuff that comes of it as a bonus episode.
So for now, it'll just be down to Dishonored and Devil May Cry 5, and I'll be doing uh, Sekiro Shadows Die twice on release. No need to keep asking about that. Come on. You know I'm doing it on release. So make sure to check out the Patreon and support me over at patreon.com slash scribe. I would appreciate that a whole hell of a lot. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Twitch. The links are in the description. And like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. Do all the YouTube bullshit. It helps. It really does. There is a reason why that call to action is so common and why I ask for people to do it and remind them. Uh, it actually helps out immeasurably. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.